Thetis, a word originating from Tevinter, once referring to all the lands beyond the Imperium, and eventually, it became the name for an entire continent. This continent became the backbone for the entire Dragon Age series, a series full of unique races, magics, tainted creatures, and rich story. Follow me now, and together we will discover the history and secrets of Thetis. Hey guys, and welcome to Terabad Studio's second lore video. I'll be your host, Corbenum, and today we will be discussing the Chantry and the Maker, the largest religion of Thetis. So stick around, guys, and enjoy. There was no word for heaven or for earth, for sea or sky. All that existed was silence. Then, the voice of the Maker rang out, the first word and his word became all that might be. Threnodes, 5, 1 through 8. The Maker is the deity worshipped by the Chantry. The Chantry is the church of the people which was inspired to be created by the prophetess Andraste, who would become the Maker's wife when she died. The Chantry believes that the Maker is all-powerful and created all things. However, he has abandoned his creation and no longer answers their prayers due to their corruption. Belief in the Maker is primarily a human religion. Background A long time ago it is said that the Maker created the Fade as his first world. The inhabitants of that world would be the spirits that he created. However, he became disappointed that they lacked souls and could not create or imagine for themselves. So the Maker left the Fade and the spirits behind to focus on his new creation, Thetis. The Maker put up a veil in between the Fade to separate the new world from the old. With this new world he would create all the races. What the Maker didn't realize was that his first creations could see through the veil and that they became jealous of these new creations and the evil demons from the veil began whispering to the new people and taught them of the old gods who would teach them the ways of blood magic in order to summon demons into the world of the living. Seeing this new sin, the Maker left his new world, returning to his golden city in the Fade. The mages of Tevinter had something else to say about that, however, and with the demons at their side, they saw themselves as greater than the Maker and entered the Fade to find him at his home. However, when they arrived at the golden city, the Maker cast them back to Earth as the first Darkspawn and the city became black with their corruption. So the Maker departed, for good, but not after sealing the old gods underground for corrupting the people of his new world. The Chantry teaches us that one day, when the Chant of Light is sung from every corner of the world, that the Maker will return and turn the world into paradise. In death, it is said that only those who believe and serve the Maker get to return to his side. All those who do not must wander the Fade for all eternity. This is probably considered their version of Hell, however if you've played the Dragon Age games the Fade is not that terrible, and is actually not that bad of a death sentence. Many people do not believe in the Maker, such as the Chasen humans in Southern Ferelden, as well as the Dalish Elves, who believe in a pantheon of gods. The Kunari and Dwarves also have their own faiths. However, the dwarves have been slowly picking up the teachings of the Chantry over their own ancestral worship. My view of the Maker is that he probably doesn't exist, at least not the Maker of the Chantry. The idea of the Creator creating two worlds and then abandoning them because he doesn't like what he's created sounds very selfish and irresponsible, something a god would not do in my opinion. However. The fact that there is a Fade with spirits and demons, and that people can travel between worlds, makes me believe that something created it all. And I believe that we still have much to learn, because we're only scratching the surface of the Dragon Age universe. Thank you guys for watching this Terabad Studios lore video. Subscribe for more videos coming very soon. Corb out.